Doyle, a 3-2 win over Longridge. We were just on the Jonesy then. That was a game of many heightened emotions, wasn't it? I had everything, to be honest. Yeah, I can't, can't actually believe it. I, I think the first half was, it's a cliche that game was two hours, but the first half was, was terrible from us. Our performance was nowhere near where we wanted to be, the expectation of the players and the fans and the management. And then second half was, kind of shows exactly why we, how we want to play and what we want to do about ourselves and how we show ourselves. Um, so yeah, better second half and thankfully got the three points. And obviously the goal scorers on the day, you got yourself one there. Dan hits, hits himself off there with, with his first goal for the club. And Steve, it's funny really the way that things pan out. We interviewed him pre-match and you know, he was saying to me that you know he was a bit disappointed with the minutes he's had recently and for him to get the win out. And obviously you're very close with him as well. That's superb for him, isn't it? Yeah, look, Steve's one of my best mates and it's amazing for him. Obviously, I appreciate his frustration. I'm sure any lad wants to play, wants to start every game. It's not always going to be the case, but his attitude's fantastic. And come on, work the socks off. And he, whether it was a shot or a cross, I don't, <laughs> don't really know. None of us care. I don't think the fans care. I don't think he really cares. He, he's claiming it's a shot, but he's obviously going to do that. But yeah, for him to get the, get the winner and run off with his shirt around his head, yeah, it was a, a nice little moment for everyone um, who's down here. And you touched on the fans there, you know, when that goal went in. And throughout the game, you know, they stuck with you, didn't they? And they've been superb, haven't they? They've been brilliant. Look, we gave them nothing to, to chant about or sing about in the first half. And then the second half, we, we gave them the moments which they can uh, get out of their seats. They can they can sing, they can chant, they can bang the drum. I'm pretty sure Jill Christian was banging the drum at one point. <laughs> um, so, yeah, pretty special that we've, we gave them their moments and uh, we've worked hard on the pitch. And, and then they've obviously done their part off the pitch and cheering us on and supporting us. And they always are. They're their 12th man. I know it's uh, what their name is and the cliche, but they really are. And obviously now to the end of the season, um, you know, the next three games, we've got three away games and Dan Hattersley's obviously come in, so you've got that strike partner there this season. Has that changed things for you a little bit? And, you know, obviously competition's good. You're talking about Steve there struggling to get into the into the group, into the starting eleven. Obviously he comes on and scores. Competition with places is, is there, but obviously you've gone through seasons where, you know, we've relied on your goals and there's goals coming from everywhere now. Is that must... Yeah, it's obviously it's a shame to lose Pinny first of all. Like it's a, a mega move for him to go there, um, and obviously when obviously one door closed, an opportunity opened somebody else. We've got Hattersley in, and it's fantastic. He's kind of he's shown his class already in the two games he's played and in training for the last four weeks. He's he's absolutely superb, um, and he's good around the lads as well. He's, he's obviously he's been there, he's done it, he's played at a higher level than what we have. So to have him around the lads as group um, is great. And then for me personally, he kind of takes that another centre back's attention away with having the two of us up top, and it's a much needed support. Um, whether we've got much pace up top right now, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's fantastic to have him alongside me, and um, I'm learning off him, and we're working well together so far. And like you said, it's good to have that competition for places. Um, and although maybe people might say we haven't really got much to play for right now, but the players are fighting for their spots going into looking forward into next season. And obviously, for me, we're a top six side, and we should be fighting for them um, playoff places. So um, right now, it's kind of we're proving ourselves to the manager and the, and the management. Um, to prove why we should be in the squad next season. Congratulations, well done. Thanks, mate.